here's another stair stringer layout tip. Now, if you're laying the stair stringer out from right to left, which is normally how I lay out my stair stringers. Again, you can lay them out however you want to. But I usually like to make a mark on the stair stringer. Again, I'll just take a pencil. I won't, won't take a felt tip marker, even though I can see that better, and mark it. Now, every once in a while, I will especially if I know that I'm going to be laying out um, the same stair tread. And the most common stair tread is going to be 10 inches. And again, I can't tell you how many stairs I've laid out with a 10 inch stair tread. So again, um, make a mark on the 10 inch side. Now this would be the inside of the framing square at 10 inches. On the outside of the framing square, it would be 11 and a half inches. Now, what this line does is it provides you with a perfect spot on the framing square to, to line up your next stair tread. So you don't need to try and line up the pencil mark on the inside of the um, stair tread at the edge of the lumber. This is difficult. It's hard to see and sometimes you're going to be off. It's not entirely accurate. If you can draw a line straight across the stair tread um, mark on the inside, this will provide you with a perfect mark to position the framing square every single time um, while you work your way from right to left down the stairway um, using your stair tread uh, mark on the framing square and lining that one up with the riser from the last um, riser and tread that you've made last riser and tread mark that you've made with your framing square I hope I got all that in there okay